Hello everyone. Today I'm going to speak about adenoids. So what are adenoids? Adenoids is a lump of tissue which is found behind our nose or in the upper part of our throat. Adenoids along with our tonsils form as a security ring. In children who are less than five years, they are very susceptible to infections. So the adenoids along with tonsils act as a barrier and trap the viruses and bacteria and prevent infections in children. So why does the adenoids enlarge? Sometimes while trapping these bacteria and viruses, adenoids does tend to get bigger. Many times it does shrink back to the original condition. However, in some children, they tend to be in the same big size for a long periods of time. What this does is, this affects the child's ability to breathe. So it becomes very difficult for the child to breathe nasally. Hence, the child starts breathing through the mouth. The child may even have loud or noisy breathing in the nights. And sometimes the child starts snoring. If these adenoids are very bad, the child can go into a condition called as sleep apnea, wherein the child stops breathing for a few seconds repeatedly throughout the night. Now, what does this cause? See, if, if a child doesn't get a good sleep in the night, the child will be tired in the morning, not able to get up in the morning or not able to concentrate in the school. So academics does suffer. So what is the um, adenoids' general story? Adenoids start shrinking by the age of five years on their own because this is the time children start getting other immune systems in place to fight the infections. So the adenoids automatically shrink. And once they reach teenage by 12 to 15 years, adenoids almost disappear. However, in children who are having the problems of repeated adenoid infections or not able to breathe at night leading to sleep apnea, children who get bad odor and mal occlusion of teeth due to big adenoids, these children need to get their adenoids removed. So usually this is the time you should meet your pediatrician. Your pediatrician can see the child, prescribe some antibiotics, antihistaminics and some steam. Many a times medical management itself is enough to uh, treat the child. However, if this is repeatedly happening or the adenoids are not coming uh, back to shape, then uh, the pediatrician may refer you to an ENT surgeon to get the adenoids removed. So is it a dangerous surgery? The answer is no. Adenoids surgery is a minor surgery. So the child who is admitted in the morning can get discharged on the same day after the removal. So child after the removal will be on some medicines for five to seven days and the child will completely recover by 10 to 14 days.